You know, one thing you're inevitably going to hear if you spend much time in the gun community is that if you're going to carry a 357 Magnum revolver, you better carry a substantial barrel because once you go down to a snub nose, the 357 Magnum loses so much power that it's just not worth carrying it anymore. In fact, it loses so much power that it's no more powerful than a 9mm when you're shooting it out of a 2 inch barrel. Well, today I'd like to take some time and see if that's true or not. Because we all know a lot of things you hear in the gun community aren't true, so if you don't validate it, you can't really believe it. So today, let's try and validate that opinion. What we're going to do is shoot some 357 Magnum ammo. Today that ammo will be Hornady Critical Defense 125 grain ammo. This is their FTX hollow points. This is a very popular self-defense round. And as far as self-defense rounds go, I would say power-wise, it's pretty much middle of the road. So it's a great ammo to get a good baseline. And we're going to shoot this ammo through three different guns with three different barrel lengths. First, we're going to shoot it through a Smith & Wesson TRR-8 with a 5-inch barrel. Then we're going to shoot it through a Smith & Wesson 586 L Comp with a 3-inch barrel. And then finally, we're going to shoot it through a Smith & Wesson 327 Performance Center with a 2-inch barrel. Now that we've got our ammo and our guns, let's go out and actually shoot them, do some testing, check some ballistics, and see how much power the 357 Magnum actually loses from the 5-inch barrel to the 2-inch barrel. Man, I love this gun right here. This gun is so much fun. I wish I shot it more often, but I just don't. 1,298. 1,333. 1,308. I'll tell you one thing. I still really love this gun, too. Uh, there's a reason I carried this gun. It's freaking awesome. 1,207. And surprise, surprise, I love this gun too. This gun's freaking awesome. Uh, I'm starting to think I just might like guns, uh, especially if they're 357 Magnum revolvers. All right, out of the five inch barrel, the 125 grain Hornady ammunition averaged 1,391 feet per second. That equates out to 537 foot pounds of energy. That's a pretty good round. That's something I would definitely carry. Now, out of the three inch barrel, we did lose some power. We went down to an average of 1,318 feet per second, which calculates out to 482 foot pounds of energy. That is a substantial decrease, but still well within acceptable limits for a self-defense round. Now, out of the two inch barrel, which is the real test here, we dropped a little more. In fact, we dropped quite a bit more. We went down to 1,231 feet per second, which calculates out to 421 foot pounds of energy. Now, that is a substantial decrease from the 1,391 feet per second in the five inch barrel and the 537 foot pounds of energy in the five inch barrel. But still, out of the two inch barrel, that 357 Magnum is pretty much screaming. That's a pretty hot self defense round. And you got to remember, this is pretty much a moderate middle of the road 357 Magnum. So now we've determined that there is quite a bit of loss going from a five inch barrel to a two inch barrel, but that would be true of all rounds. Now we have to test the part to say, well, does it decrease enough to where it's no more powerful than a nine millimeter now? So you might as well carry a nine millimeter. So to do that, we're gonna to have to test these results against some results of some nine millimeter ammo. Now the nine millimeter ammo I'm going to choose is as close as I can get to the Hornady 125 grain 357 Magnum. It is the Hornady 124 grain nine millimeter plus P critical duty. Now this isn't a middle of the road nine millimeter like the critical defense was. It's actually kind of a higher end nine millimeter since it is plus P, but as far as plus P's go, it's kind of middle of the road also. So I think this is a very good comparison. Same manufacturer, similar bullet weights, etc. So this will be a good comparison. 
So first I'm gonna shoot it out of the shortest barrel I have, which is my Bond Arms. My Bond Arms Bullpup 9mm. It has about a three and a quarter inch barrel. So a little bit longer than the two inch barrel, but you gotta remember, semi-autos count the chamber, so it's always a little bit off. But let's see how well these two guns compare. Okay, out of the three and a quarter inch barrel, the nine millimeter averaged 1,137 feet per second, which translates out to 356 foot pounds of energy. So even though that barrel's technically a little longer, it still doesn't come close to the 357 Magnum out of the two inch. So that would seem to dispel that whole, if you're gonna go down to the 357 Magnum in a two inch, you might as well go with a small nine millimeter because they'd be equal power. Well, out of similar barrel lengths or even a little bit longer barrel length, the nine millimeter is still not as powerful as the 357. But let's see if that changes if we go up to a little bit larger barrel for the nine millimeter. Next, we'll shoot it out of my CZ P01. Now the P01 has a three and three quarter inch barrel. That's getting closer to what most people would carry. So let's see what the results are out of this barrel. 1189. Well, that same nine millimeter out of the three and three quarter inch barrel achieved 1,176 feet per second on average, which translates out to 381 foot pounds of energy. Although we're getting closer to the 357 Magnum in the two inch, you've got a substantially longer barrel, but it's still not equaling the 357 Magnum. The 357 Magnum still crosses that 400 foot pound benchmark, whereas the nine millimeter does not. So I would not consider this nine millimeter something I would want to carry, whereas the two inch 357 Magnum, I would. But let's give the nine millimeter one more chance. Let's go up to what most people would consider a full size gun, a CZ 75B nine millimeter pistol. Now this gun has about a four and three quarter inch barrel. So let's see how the nine millimeter out of this size barrel compares to the 357 Magnum out of the two inch barrel. All right, now we're getting closer. Out of the four and three quarter inch barrel, the nine millimeter averaged 1,211 feet per second, which translates out to 404 foot pounds of energy. The nine millimeter has finally just barely broken that 400 foot pounds threshold that I like to see, but it's still not equaling the 357 mag out of a two inch barrel. So as you can see, even when you go up to a full size carry gun, nine millimeter plus P still isn't equaling 357 Magnum out of a two inch barrel. So that myth is pretty much dispelled. Now I know this is where a lot of people are gonna say, but I can hand load me a nine millimeter plus P, 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 and it'll blow that 357 Magnum out of the water, that Hornady critical defense 357 Magnum. And to those people I say, yes, and I can hand load a 357 Magnum that would blow your nine millimeter P, 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 P out of the water also. When you're comparing these types of things, you have to compare apples to apples, not oranges to orangutans, which is what you're doing when you try to compare your super hot hand loads to a basic 357. You have to compare basic to basic or hot to hot. Now you could make the argument that a two inch snub nose 357 Magnum revolver is gonna be hard to handle. Well, maybe in a 360 that might be true, but if you went up to the 327, they're not hard to handle at all. So then you would just be looking at power versus power and the 357 Magnum is gonna win every time. Now, if you wanna switch over to a larger nine millimeter to get more rounds, you can get more rounds, that's personal preference, but you're not gonna get more power. So that whole argument that if you're gonna carry 357 Magnum in a two inch, you shouldn't even bother because it loses too much power, well, that's bunk. Because even out of a two inch barrel, it's a pretty potent round. More potent than nine millimeter, even out of a full size gun. And it also goes without saying that obviously, the nine millimeter is not going to be better power wise. It just doesn't equal the 357 Magnum. So that's busted also. And like I say, you can make other arguments about handling, capacity, etc., all you want. But when it comes to just power, the 357 Magnum out of any barrel is going to beat the nine millimeter out of any barrel anytime, anywhere, every day, in every way, whether you like it or not.